Industries across all business sectors are implementing artificial intelligence along with digitization and upgrades. The requirement for integrated circuits or chips in the country has risen as a result of this. Furthermore, the Chinese government is focusing on growing the integrated circuit industry more to stimulate growth in this key area, based on the development of new competencies, such as the manufacture of 28 nanometers. As a result, the Chinese government's strong policy backing and investment are providing the integrated circuit industry a substantial boost. The Chinese government continues to promote the integrated circuit sector through policy and investment. These concerted efforts have catapulted the industry into the next phase of growth. According to Dr. Chai Yimao, Associate Dean, School of Information Science and Technology, and Head of Department of Micro Nanoelectronics, significant progress has also been seen in related technology innovation allowing China's integrated circuit industry to gain international influence. The chip sector is gaining traction as a result of policy changes. Dr. Chai highlights that these policies illustrate that the chip sector is one of China's most important pillars for businesses and that the government will continue to support it. As demand grows, the country will likely see new improvements and innovations in integrated circuit technology development, as well as increased emphasis on talent training. China's chip manufacturing capacity expands. The chip manufacturing business in the country has made great growth thanks to groundbreaking government policies. China is on track to achieve semiconductor self-sufficiency in the next five years, according to data issued by the State Council. This is noteworthy, given that the country is the world's largest chip buyer. It has already covered the requirements for 28 nanometer and 40 nanometer technology nodes and linkages in mainland China to some extent. Many Chinese companies are at the forefront of developing cutting-edge integrated circuits or chips. SMIC, for example, is the first integrated circuit manufacturer in mainland China to achieve mass production of 14 nanometer fin fat, demonstrating the most advanced degree of autonomous integrated circuit manufacturing technology research and development. It has also launched China's most sophisticated 24 nanometer NAND. 40 nanometer high performance image sensors and other special technologies. Furthermore, it has partnered with businesses in a variety of disciplines to achieve steady development in market segments such as specific memory and high performance image sensors. China's largest contract shipmaker stated that on September 3 that it had inked a deal to create a new facility with the Lingang Special Area, which is part of Shanghai's free trade zone. The proposed $8.87 billion foundries are expected to produce 100,000 12-inch wafers per month. SMIC will own at least 51% of the partnership, with a 25% interest held by a Shanghai government-designated investment company. SMIC stated in March that it would partner with the Shenzhen government to invest $2.35 billion in a project to produce 40,000 12-inch wafers per month using 28 nanometer and higher integrated circuits. The global semiconductor chip shortage caused by COVID-19 isn't the only driver of the state-backed chip maker's ambitious expansion. The fundamental cause is a severe geopolitical turf war between China and the United States. Since 2018, the Sino-US trade war has harmed many Chinese IT companies, including national champion Huawei. Exports to SMIC were restricted by the US in September 2020. According to a Bloomberg story, the U.S. Commerce Department instructed U.S. enterprises to apply for a license to export specified products to SMIC in a letter dated September 25. The new export restrictions occurred when SMIC's business was already suffering as a result of Trump's ban on Huawei from purchasing semiconductors anywhere in the world, including from SMIC. According to a Credit Suisse analysis, Huawei's chip business would account for roughly one-fifth of SMIC's sales in 2020. SMIC has dealt the last blow in December. SMIC and its 10 subsidiaries were placed on the U.S. Commerce Department's Entity List, or Trade Blacklist, by the Trump administration, based on allegations that the business was supplying technology to China's military, which SMIC has disputed. Despite the limits, SMIC grew at an incredible rate in the first half of 2021. It did not, however, progress up the value chain. SMIC may be China's most technologically sophisticated chip maker, but its manufacturing techniques are said to be three generations behind the industry's best, such as Samsung and Taiwan's semiconductor manufacturing company. Its most sophisticated 14 nanometer chips lag significantly behind today's cutting edge 5 nanometer chips. 
SMIC is technologically reliant on foreign firms to manufacture such cutting-edge semiconductors. According to sources, approximately half of SMIC's equipment is currently manufactured in the United States. Because SMIC is on the entity list, it is unable to purchase equipment from many European or Japanese companies due to intellectual property difficulties with the US. The worldwide chip shortage, which occurred in the midst of a tech-focused trade war, prompted China to expand its Made in China 2025 initiative. The main goal of this plan was to manufacture 40% of all semiconductors for local consumption by 2020 and up to 70% by 2025. However, with only 15% of the population participating in 2020, this strategy falls far short of the 40% target. To solve this critical shortage, China's State Council issued the policies of promoting high-quality development of integrated circuit industry and software industry in 2020. China announced plans to focus on research and development in seven frontier technologies, including strategic emerging technologies such as quantum information, brain science, artificial intelligence, and semiconductors in its 14th five-year plan from 2021 to 2025, signaling a transition from quantitative growth to quality development. Between 2021 and 2025, Chinese Premier Li Keqiang stated plans to increase research and development investment by more than 7% per year. Many domestic companies, in addition to SMIC, have the equipment and capabilities to enter the 28 nanometer and underway for manufacturing line. North Wachang, a major company, unveiled the first domestic atomic layer deposition equipment in 2018, which can meet the process requirements for FinFET with 20 nanometers and 14 nanometers in respect of thin film formation equipment. North Wachang's PVG equipment may also be used to produce 28 nanometer processes. All of these indicators suggest that China's chip manufacturing capacity is improving, particularly for 14 nanometer chips. China has already perfected the technology needed to mass produce 14 nanometer chips, which will be achieved next year. Furthermore, the China Micro Semiconductors Dielectric Etching Machine can match the world's most sophisticated 5 nanometers process, and it has already received orders from key integrated circuits manufacturing companies such as TSMC and SMIC. Domestic substitution and independent control cannot be the cover under which select monopolistic businesses can take China's chip industry to the next level. According to Dr. Chai, there should be strong competition in the integrated circuit industry to stimulate market vitality and promote technological innovation. Dr. Chai recommends changes in four areas for the development of China's integrated circuit sector. 1. Continuing to foster cooperation, regular implementation of key industrial policies and suitable investment may all contribute to the advancement of integrated circuits and technology applications. It is also critical to enhance China's integrated circuit industry's integration with the world's top supply chains. Furthermore, the semiconductor sector should endeavor to entice the world's premier semiconductor manufacturers to establish manufacturing and research and development facilities in the country. 2. Stimulate the domestic market innovation Domestic integrated circuit technology market innovation and iteration, based on national policy and market demand, are vital to helping grow up the chip industry in the country. To grow and contribute to the development of a vibrant semiconductor sector in China, both big corporations and startups should embrace an innovative attitude. 3. Strengthen the formation of industry associations and alliances. For the chip industry in China to flourish, it is essential to construct specific industry associations and alliances. These organizations can help establish international standards foster regional cooperation, and create an ecosystem that encourages efficient industrial innovation, development, and healthy competition. 4. To form fruitful collaborations Leading enterprises in the industry should join forces to combine upstream and downstream development and maximize resource allocation under the guise of protecting free and fair competition in the industry. This will assist the ecosystem in growing together, becoming competitive, gaining global impact, and climbing the success ladder. The Chinese semiconductor sector is poised for considerable development and expansion, thanks to strong state support and investments in critical areas. However, as noted by Dr. Chai, it is critical for the industry to develop suitable collaborations and ensure innovation 
in order to acquire a competitive advantage over other countries. Do you think China will take over the chip industry as the greatest? Let us know your opinions down in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys and just before you leave, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this one. Take care and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.